This year, I was able to add not one, not two, but three new games to my top 10 list. And all I did was take one simple action that you can do right now. I stopped playing games. There are three reasons you should really consider doing this, and the last one is especially important as it relates to something you'll never get back. But let me clarify exactly what I'm talking about when I say stop playing games. I'm not saying you should never play video games again. I'm saying there are certain games that you should stop playing. Okay, real quick, think about your favorite game of all time. More likely than not, you felt something pretty special when you started playing that game. Within just a few hours of gameplay, you knew this one was going to be different. Outer Wilds, for example, is a game I played earlier this year, and about 30 minutes in, I already knew it would be unlike anything I had ever played. Just leaving my home planet left me with this feeling of awe as I realized that massive rock I was just standing on was now below me as I drifted off towards planets similar in classification, but entirely different in every other measurable way. And I've spoken about this game on my channel because of that. But there's another game that I played right before it that I never mentioned, Hyper Light Drifter. Which, for the record, I have absolutely nothing against. However, it just didn't capture me. I didn't dislike it, it was actually pretty cool. But I didn't get that feeling I got when I started Outer Wilds. So, I stopped playing it. Now, is it possible the game could have turned around? Sure, it totally could have. But that's why that feeling of resonance is so important. Rarely does that feeling show up halfway through a game. And to be fair, it's not totally impossible for something like that to happen, it's just not very likely. So, if you're trying to force yourself through a game so you can enjoy another one you've been looking forward to, maybe just drop it and move straight on to the more interesting one. But there's another problem. What if that game you're thinking of moving on to isn't actually good? So, unlike subscribing, which guarantees good content, starting a new game is far less certain. I mean, there is a very real chance that when you play it, you'll find that it's not even as good as the game you were just playing. Like I said with Hyper Light Drifter, I actually liked it, so why take the risk of dropping it in favor of Outer Wilds? Well, think about it, there are only a few options here, right? There's the simplest option of continuing to play the game that's just good enough, although this doesn't really go anywhere, so let's instead look at the branching options that result from choosing to play the new game. Let's say there are three things that can happen here. The game can be worse than the one you were playing, in which case you'd just go back to that initial game. The game could be the same or a little better, in which case you could prioritize it or just go back again. And lastly, there's the important option that makes it all worth it. The game could totally surpass any expectations you had for it. This is the best case scenario, and it's how you get games that can be potential top 10 candidates. However, this option can only happen if you're willing to drop the initial game and give that new one a shot. But I know what you're thinking, why not just finish the initial game first? Aren't you just wasting money by constantly switching games? I'll be honest, that's a valid concern. I mean, we're not all CEOs or rich YouTubers like myself, but there are a few reasons you shouldn't really be worried about it. First and foremost, it isn't your job to finish games. There is no paycheck waiting for you at the end credits. Games are meant to be fun, they're your hobby, and the moment you're not enjoying that hobby anymore is the moment it goes from being a fun pastime to a pointless task that you're forced to complete. You don't have any obligation to finish a game you don't enjoy, and by forcing yourself to do so, you're just preventing yourself from trying other games that you may enjoy even more. Now, just to be clear, I'm not telling you to drop 15 games a week, you're gonna go broke if you do that. But the harsh reality is that money is already gone, and by forcing yourself through a game you might not enjoy, you're losing something far more valuable that you can never get back. You're losing your time. And speaking of games that look interesting, here's a video on a few hidden gems that you do not want to miss out on.